Facebook ad strategy on a budget, how to create campaigns that convert. Guys, Kim Barrett here from Your Social Voice, and I wanna to talk to you today about creating campaigns on a budget. Can you actually do it? How would you go about it and creating campaigns that convert? And also giving you guys a couple of resources as well towards the end about how you can get started to give you some base level understanding. So first of all, if you've got a low budget, right, can you get results on Facebook? <sighs> Unfortunately, the answer is yes, right? And it just comes down to how you use that budget. Because the benefit of the Facebook ad platform is that you can literally start from $1 one little dinero, right? One dollar, all the way up to ten thousand, a hundred thousand dollars, whatever you want to spend, basically, right? There's almost no limit to how much you can spend if it's coming out and making you money. So let's look at it though on the lower end. There's like if you're doing it on a budget, what should you do? Now it depends on your budget. So let's just say that you've got a very low end budget, a dollar a day, right? And then I want to talk about a ten dollar a day strategy. So we've got those two realms in the world of like the lower budgets um, and then everywhere in between, they still apply as you grow up too. But on the $1 a day strategy, that is not something that I would recommend for people to create conversion campaigns or to, to try and focus too much on lead generation only because you're not going to have the budget to test, right? Which can be detrimental to the outcome of your campaign. So what I mean by that is that if you've got something like a dollar a day that you're looking to spend and you're looking to put out there and you're looking to try and get results with, I would focus purely on your content, on videos that you've been doing or posts that you've written that work really well. I would focus on spending that $1 on a page post engagement campaign or a video views campaign. Um, maybe a ad recall or a like, you know, to, to uh, for people, sorry, an audience recall where they can get to know your brand. Um, I think it's called brand lift or brand recall is the actual ad type. They're really the only three that I would focus on. I would not look at anything else purely because your budget is not going to be high enough for you to be able to build those conversions up, right? If you're looking at any of the other strategies I might talk about in a moment, like lead ads, conversion campaigns, etc., I would focus just on that content boosting. What used to be the old school, just boost post, right? Boost that out there video views or post engagement or brand recall and use that to build an engaged audience, to build an audience of people that are interested in what you have, that want what you have, that are really engaged in your brand and brand story. So that when you're out there in the marketplace, they're getting used to seeing you, they're getting used to becoming aware of what you do. So that is my recommendation. If you've only got some, if you're very low budget to start with, that's where I would start. Now look, if you're on the, like towards pushing up a little bit higher, let's say that you can um, rustle up $10 a day plus, there's two things that I would do. So number one is I would not start this until I had $100 that I was going to be willing to buy information with. So what I mean by that is $100 that we can use on testing, right? I don't wanna have, I wanna have $100 that if you were to burn it with a, with a match or a lighter and it disappeared, you'd be okay with that. I want that $100 first so that we can buy and gather information. Then I want 10 bucks a day for 30 days, right? So total spend over a month of $400, okay? That's what this strategy is going to be. Now the benefit with Facebook is that they will give you like they will give you payment terms, right? As suppliers, if you ever have suppliers, they're like, oh, you can have a 30 day account. Facebook will give you that. They will give you up until you hit your spend limit or the end of the month. So most people's spend limits normally start around the $900 mark or the month comes about. So if you launch your ads on the 29th and it's the 30th the next day, they're going to charge you straight away, right? To get to, uh, to clear their payments up at the end of the month. But if you launch on the first, you have that full 30 days to spend up to $900 your spend limit before they will charge you. So if you can build campaigns that convert, Facebook is giving you a little bit of a tether there, right? They're letting you, please go spend money and pay us at the end of the month. So they're giving you payment terms, which is pretty dang cool, right? So let's bring that back. So we've got our $100 uh, to spend on testing, and then we have our $10 a day, $300 over the month that we're gonna use to run our campaigns. So what we're gonna be able to do with that, right? If we look dial it back is I'm gonna let us start with something called lead ads. They are the simplest, they are the most 
uh, cost-effective ways of testing a campaign on a low budget. So what we're going to do is we're going to create, as I said, a lead ad, which is very simple inside of Facebook and there's resources at the end they'll give you on how you can also create them. But what we wanna focus on and what we wanna think about is five key audiences, right? Five key audiences that we're going to run for two days. Five audiences, two days. So one might be interests, one might be professional associations, might be job types, might be uh, locations in the country or in the city that you're in, and the other might be like influencers within that, uh, people that have an influence of nature within the industry that you're targeting. They're gonna be five. And what we wanna do is we wanna spend $10 a day for two days. Because what we're looking to do is buy information. When we're looking to buy and see, we're gonna spend $100 over two days, $50 per day, to find out exactly which one of these audiences is going to respond the best to our ads that we put up. And like I said, I'll give you resources on how to leverage that. Now, once we do that, we're looking for two things, right? One of two things. We're looking for whichever ad generated us the most leads, number one, or whichever ad generated us the cheapest clicks, right? The cheapest clicks, link clicks is what we're looking for. The, and uh, so the third that you could use if you wanted to throw a third in there, which was the highest click through rate, CTR. So whichever of those three of the, the information you have the most of, that is what we're going to use to test and measure. That's what we're gonna use for the rest of the month. Whichever one of those performs the best. Right, so let's just say that we had one that came through and it got us five leads for two bucks a lead, right? Great, happy days, we're gonna focus on that one for the rest of the month. Or we had one that had a click-through rate of 4% and everything else was 1%, we're going to use that one. Or again, same as the cost per click might be 50 cents versus $2. For the other ones, we use the 50 cent uh, cost per click, right? So once we have after those two days, we find our winner. And then what we're going to do is we're gonna turn off the other four. Four now because we're on a budget, right? Because we're on a budget. Then what we're going to do is just keep spending $10 a day over that month. Now, if you get to a total spend on one ad set, one ad, that is over $100 and it hasn't generated a result, turn it off. Our key point that we look for is $100 of spend so that we can see if the niche is right, the offer is right, the copy is right, all those three things are working together, we need to wait until we hit that point. Once we hit that point, thumbs up, happy days, great success, that's where we measure from. So if nothing's happened, we turn it off. Hopefully you've done your research, you've used the resources that I'm going to give you, and you've taken advantage of that, right? And you've done it properly, okay? Done it properly. If you've done that and that's worked properly, then boom, off to the races, we go happy days and you've got leads coming through, keep pushing and you can start to increase that spend. But if not, that's the measurement you look for to go back to the drawing board. 100 bucks, if we haven't got leads coming in, we go back to the drawing board and we start again. So you'd spend 200 bucks in total, 100 of your testing, $100 there. If you haven't got that come through, go back to the drawing board and we start again, okay? But we wanna make sure that our drawing board and our foundations are as high as possible. So the two key resources that I recommend you looking at is number one is the Facebook Blueprint course. Uh, they do it for free and I think there's a paid version also, but they give you a free version to go through to get yourself acquainted with Facebook's tools, the Facebook ad platform, a whole bunch of different things. They give you all the foundations there that you need to really be able to go out there and push forward. They give you all the foundations, right? Now, number two, so that's the Facebook blueprint is the first. Number two is our free USB, which you can check out at www.freeusb.com.au. Just cover postage and handling and we'll send that out to you. We break down in there exactly how to set up a lead ad to perfection. We break down in there how to leverage our niche, our offer, and our copy. We give you all the tools and resources that you need to be successful with it, okay? So make sure that if you wanna check those out, Facebook Blueprint and then our free USB is going to give you the best chance possible at having a successful campaign to launch, right? The free USB includes our Facebook marketing toolkit, which gives you everything you need to go out there and cut rush it, okay? So they're the two things that I want you to look at as resources. So if we were to circle back and look at that and go, cool, number one, if your budget is like literally low budget, a dollar per day, um, it's video, it's 
posts on your page. It's page post engagement, video views, brand recall as the ad types. If you're looking at the next level, which is where you can um, put together $100 for testing and then $10 a day, so $400 in total budget over one month, we're gonna start with lead ads. We're gonna test for two days, $50 per day. Then the next part, we're gonna go into $10 a day with the one that wins, the winner winner chicken dinner. Then we're gonna go forward from there, spend that over a month. If you spend $100 and you don't get a lead, go back to the beginning and start again, right? Start fresh. Now, you're gonna hit it out of the park every single time to start off with. Sometimes you might. If you do, happy days. Comment down below and let us know your successes. If you don't though, that's cool. Happens to everyone, happens to me all the time. Back to the beginning, start fresh, okay? So that is how you can use Facebook ads on a budget and create campaigns that convert. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. If you did like this video, give us a thumbs up and let us know. Drop in the comments, give us any feedback. If there's anything else you'd like to see, please do let us know. And make sure that you tap the old subscribe and you turn the little bing, the little bell on so that you can see these videos before anyone else. And you know that we've got it out there, right? And we've got some really cool things coming for you guys. So make sure you say subscribed and we'll see you guys real soon. Until next time, I am Kim Barrett. Y'all been awesome. Adios.